Hey, I thought I'd do something a little different, and I'd show you how to cook two of my favorite dishes that go very well together. Add your favorite vegetable, and you've got a meal. So, you want to start with the Swiss meatloaf. Yes, I said Swiss meatloaf. This is not your grandma's meatloaf with fucking celery and... Nope. And you can even top it off with whatever you like. I use ketchup, but I know some people like to use jelly. Uh, grape jelly or strawberry jam or apricot jam all taste great on top. So, okay. The ingredients you need is a pound of ground beef, two eggs, a packet of Lipton onion soup mix, one cup of Italian breadcrumbs, and one and a quarter cups of baby Swiss grated. Two teaspoons of parsley, if you choose. I sometimes leave this out. A teaspoon of Lowry's seasoned salt. That shit is great. And whatever you want to cover the top. So, everything but the stuff you put on top, dump it into a bowl. Yep, just dump it right in there. All of it. Well, crack your eggs first, but and open the packet and dump it in. You know, the normal. But put it all in a bowl. Then you want to get some gloves, or you're just going to get your hands dirty, and you want to mix that stuff up with your hands. Always tastes better when it's mixed up with your hands. Plus, just get right in there with that meat. It's good. I promise you. Once it's all mixed up, you want to take two loaf pans. You know, bread pans. You want to split it in half. Put it in each of the pans. Cover it with ketchup or whatever. And uh, it's 350 Fahrenheit for 45 minutes to an hour. I check it, depending on your oven. Sometimes it can get done a little sooner. Now, on to the good stuff. Roasted garlic mashed potatoes. Now, I usually roast my garlic a little bit before I do all this. But you can roast it and then use it right away. It's up to you. There are two ways to roast garlic and two schools of thought on it. But what I usually do is just cut the top off the garlic bulb. Pour olive oil on it, wrap it in foil, and stick it in the oven. Um, some people like to peel the garlic and have all the nice little cloves there and cover those with olive oil and put them in the oven with foil covering. You can do it either way. It really doesn't matter. Um, it's just time saving to cut the top of the garlic off and, but you, then you have to squeeze it out. So it's up to you, but you want a full bulb of garlic for how much we're using. Um, olive oil is about a quarter cup, but I just eyeball it. So, and then you want a pound and a half of red potatoes unpeeled. You don't peel potatoes for this. The potato skins taste great in these mashed potatoes. Um, so roast your garlic, let it cool, whatever. Uh, do it ahead of time because it takes about 40 minutes in the oven, um, at 350 degrees, 40, 45 minutes. So once that's all roasted, then you do your meatloaf put your meatloaf in the oven, then you start the potatoes. So chop up that pound and a half of red potatoes to, you know, cube size chunks. And you want to rinse those off. And you want to bring a pot of lightly salted water to boil. Then you add the potatoes and you cook until they're tender but firm. Not really an exact science to this because it depends on how big or little you cut those potatoes. But, um, yeah, around 20-ish minutes, what you want to do is you want to smash a piece to the side of the pot. If it smashes easily but still has some give, it's done. If it doesn't smash, it's not done. If it smushes really easily and just goes everywhere, it's too done. So, then you put them into a bowl after you drain them. Drain them into a strainer, put them into a bowl. You want to add, okay, it's... A half a cup of milk or half and half. I like half and half because it makes it creamier, but your choice. Quarter cup of grated Parmesan cheese. A half a cup of butter. Yes, I did say a half a cup of butter. That's what makes it good. Salt and pepper. Kind of not really to taste, but kind of visually however much salt and pepper. You can always add more afterwards. And then you want to break out either a stand-up mixer or an electric hand mixer and you want to beat to a desired consistency. I recommend chopping the butter up into little pats. They'll melt quicker um, and just mix it all together. 
And there you have your potatoes. And those potatoes are so good. Oh my gosh, I could eat those like every day for the rest of my life. So yeah, and you pick whatever vegetable you want to go with your meatloaf. Um, broccoli works good. Roasted Brussels sprouts. Um, yeah, carrots, whatever you like. Put it on the side. Corn is not a vegetable, gentlemen. Um, peas are kind of a vegetable, but not really. Um, but yeah, lots of things go great with meatloaf. And then you want to eat it. Uh, it's one of my favorite meals of all times, and I'm happy to share it with you. Okay, hopefully I'll be able to do more of these, and uh, you guys can learn some of my favorite recipes. Awesome. Bye.